back, show your physical. Well, I'm riding on the ball game. Yeah. You heard that bell ringing? Yeah. Yeah. Check this out. Now, more of Hooten's Arkansas football, brought to you by Sonic. In last Saturday night's Class 4A state championship game, Greenwood was the heavy favorite and had a little trouble with first-time state finalist Hope. The Bulldogs jumped to a 14-0 lead early. Junior quarterback Anthony Hancock's first pass of the game fell incomplete, but his next three found wide-open receivers running free through Hope's secondary. Greenwood covered just 67 yards on the three big pass plays before Josh Bell ran it in from three yards out, shedding Hope's David Williams on the way, and Greenwood was ahead for good, seven to nothing. On Greenwood's next possession, second play, Hancock finds the game's most valuable player. It's Bell again. He makes an awkward catch, keeps his balance, and goes 69 yards. Bell finished with 11 catches for 167 yards, including another touchdown in the fourth quarter, and it was 14 to nothing midway through the first quarter. But Hope's defense would toughen up, allowing only this 20-yard field goal by Kyle McGreeny to make it 17 to nothing at halftime. In the third quarter, Hope's defense stopped Greenwood forcing a punt by McGreeny from the 10-yard line. Hope's David Williams got a seven-yard return, and the Bobcats took over with great field position at the Greenwood 35. Two plays later, Hope quarterback Michael Netherly is going to pass deep, and Greenwood standout junior James Brighton is going to tip the pass, but right into the hands of awaiting Clay Black. Black's knee was down on the four-yard line. Junior running back D.D. Holyfield would get to the one-yard line on the next play, but Netherly then fumbled the snap on second and goal, and Greenwood's Dustin Fry recovers. But again, Greenwood was backed up to its own end zone, and after a face mask penalty, Hancock gets sacked by the big boy. That's Quentin Charles, and he's got Hancock down at the one. And that sets up this safety by the big fella again. It's Quentin Charles. Quinton is just a junior, and he gets a little help from Taboris Thornton. That made it 17 to two with five minutes left in the third quarter. But Hope's offense would never get in the end zone, and Greenwood, which has advanced to the semifinals three straight years, finally gets a trophy. The final score, Coach Ronnie Peacock's Greenwood Bulldogs 30, Hope two. Guys played really great. Uh, Hancock uh, had a Really good game. Our receivers caught the ball real well. Our defense played tremendous. Our kicking game did uh, exactly what we wanted to do, not let them have a big play in the kicking game. Early, it was really big. God, oh, this is, I'm ecstatic right now. I can't believe, that a boy, that a boy. I'm, I'm just thrilled right now. This is amazing. I, I this, is, this is great right here. I, oh, man, our defense just completely shut them out tonight. I'm real proud of the D. That, that's, what, that's what made the game tonight. Good to Josh Bell. He made, he made execution with the play. He caught the ball, focused on it. We had, a, we had a great season. The seniors were great, and hopefully next year we'll do the same thing. Back in July when Hooten's Arkansas Football Magazine hit the newsstands, Greenwood was ranked number two in our preseason rankings. The Bulldogs lost their season opener to Fort Smith Northside, but then won 13 in a row on their way to the state championship. Hope finishes the year at number two with a 12-2 and record. Win lost just once, and that was to Hope in the semifinals. There's another team from the West, Alma, another great year, finished 9-3. and three. Then it's Newport, Watson Chapel, Searcy, Little Rock Fair, Monticello, and Arkadelphia rounds out the final top 10 in Hooten's Arkansas Football Class 4A rankings. The second 10 starts with disappointing Osceola. Then it's Whitehall, Harrison, Moralton, Nettleton, Stuttgart at number 16, Malvern, Batesville, Magnolia, and Hot Springs Lakeside. <laughs> Now it's time for Arkla's Scholar Athlete of the Week. It's only fitting that our final Arkla Scholar Athlete of the 2000 season may help produce future scholars, as Bryant's Luke Brown wants to go into teaching after injuries slowed his success on the field. And Luke has already learned an important lesson. Because of injuries, that college football scholarship he was hoping for has kind of gone by the wayside. And now, like most of the rest of us, he needs something else to fall back on. 
but you have to want it. You have to work hard, do all your work. Um, it's just the will to do it is really the most important thing. It's just the want to because you never know when something could happen. You could get hurt, and you got to have something to fall back on. And he'll always have his education to fall back on. Lesson learned from Luke Brown, this week's ARCLA Scholar Athlete of the Week. Now, more of Hooten's Arkansas football, brought to you by Lander.